and uh, it went downhill hill to the last ball. Did and, it really? Uh, he rolled it down toward his hole and left me a bank. So. Well, there you go. Yeah, but I don't. I'm uncomfortable being on the winner's side because it won't last very long in this <laughs> in this place for me. <laughs> well, we are gonna stream this third match of the event. What's happening here? They're talking. Uh, this is Daniel Bush. I'm sitting here with Carla Johnson. She's a one pocket fanatic, aren't you? I am. I am a one pocket fanatic. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I should have asked you if it was okay to say that. Yes, it's okay. It's no secret. I love it. And she loves this game. And uh, here we are. We're waiting now. We're going to stream Damien's match with Wayne Pullen, also from the winner's side. We saw a long match, uh, you know, which just finished. It was over two hours long um, with, with Baba Ashi. And um, something interesting to note, Carla, they were both w losing on their own break. Really? Yeah, yeah. Which that's, pocket did they break to? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I think the one toward the wall is slightly you, downhill. You know what? Um, I'm noticing the one away from the wall feels like it's uphill. That's what I'm saying. So if you're yeah. rolling the ball with pocket speed, yeah. and you get it into the one by the wall, it'll drop in. That's kind of what I'll sit up. Yeah, and mm -hmm. and, and actually, much, Damien's know. was going uphill, and he mm -hmm. still managed to win. Yeah, but in a, in a close match, you, a lot of I like to break the other way, but on these three tables here, yeah, I break toward the wall because you get that extra little. Oomph. Interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, I habitually shoot to my to my left side. Uh -huh. That's the pocket that I usually go for. But you have to practice breaking the other way because in here you get a little bit of an edge. I think the, the, the building may be crooked because these were just <laughs> leveled, you know, not that long ago. Yeah. It's just a slight. Well, you know, we do live in Southern California where there's a lot of seismic activity. Yes, it shakes around a little bit. And yeah, that's so true. That's true. All right, so uh, once again, thanking, uh, thanking Simona's Cloth and, and West 8 Billiards. Yeah, I know. I want to thank West 8 Billiards and also to JB Cases. Really appreciate uh, JB Cases once again for working with POV Pool. And uh, we're just about to get this match started. It's Damien Alishan versus Wayne Pullen. The question is: Is do we ever do we ever step back and like you know look at, at what we've what we've done and wonder you know why we're here? Kind of pinch ourselves and and my answer to that is yeah, every day pretty much. I mean, I look at her. We talk about that all the time. Like we can't believe we're here. We truly feel lucky. You know, I mean, if if anybody asked me what's the secret to this business, to us in this business beyond the quality of the product, it's the relationships that we forge with our customers, with the people who, who, in, who enable us to be here. You know, it's the people who come back and buy two or three or four cases and the people who bring their friends. They trust us enough to vouch for us, for their friends. And, and that is just amazing to us, you know. We look around and we're like, how lucky can we be? JB Cases, we care about your cues by putting layers of padded protection around them and then build as much case as you want around that protection. Visit us at jbcases.com and design your case today. play all right we're ready to go we're ready to go sorry carla carla has to go and so does damien damien's got a break best of luck to you in your second match carla johnson she was gonna hang and keep me company in the commentary booth now that is a good break 
That's a good break. Playing Wayne, you need a good break. That's for sure. Take a lesson from Wayne. That's how you counter that break. No need to do anything flashy. told you guys I'm on two hours of sleep. Thanks a lot for uh, pointing that out. <laughs> that was Carla Johnson in the commentary booth with me, not, not on the scoreboard. <laughs> Well, one thing's for sure, Damien's getting plenty of practice on this table. As mentioned uh, earlier today, Wayne Pollen started very late playing this game, one pocket. I think he was in his mid 40s when he got started and he's already you know he's he's in his early 70s now and you wouldn't know it very agile gentleman and uh, and a gentleman at that I will say he's always been very very cordial and uh, well-mannered uh, every time I've seen him play And he's a formidable opponent. He's, he's known as One Pocket Wayne. Wayne's going to get on the board pretty quick here. Or not. Wow. Striking first blood. Damien has 
caught himself a good opportunity. Now the trick here is how do you close out? He needs five. Oh, he manages to avoid Wayne's ball. This may, may be all she wrote, but let's see how well he plays the shot. Yeah. Yeah, no, not taking any chances. And he'll probably just follow uh, this 10 ball in, or he'll just make this 10 ball. Putting Wayne in a difficult spot. Wayne just ticky tacking that cue ball down uh, to Damien's side. I bet Wayne's wishing he uh, made that easy ball. Now, it's cost him dearly. Just that one mistake. Creative shot using the 15 to combo the 7 and moving the 14 at the same time. Definitely a uh, an advanced shot in one pocket. can bank this. I think Wayne can twist this uh, 15. Yeah. If nothing else, he's yeah, just trying to play a good cue ball. Damien's in trouble here because uh, the angle at which he provided coverage makes it difficult for Damien to um, get at either of these two balls. And uh, he can't even play a three rail to get it out. He's going to have to blim blam these, uh, these balls to... Yeah. Wow, that was actually well played. I mean, it could have ended up better, but it could have ended up a lot worse. Mm. 
Wayne just says, oh, let me sneak in there. Yeah. This guy don't miss, man. That's the scary thing about Wayne. He's he's pretty uh, he's very formidable. I played him straight pool recently. <laughs> oh God! I mean, it must have been about like six, seven months ago, and I was actually in stroke. Guy beat me like I think we played to seventy five. He beat me like seventy five to thirteen. Pretty intense. Good shot. smooth. I think Damien might have room to kick and stick this ball, but uh, you got to be careful. You don't know, you don't know what you're going to leave Wayne sometimes. Well, he can kick and stick this and maybe good things will happen, but He could. He doesn't need to really even kick and stick it. He could just shoot forward into it. Yeah. Oh, he crossed it. I didn't think he would cross it, honestly. But Damien crosses ball so well. Um, and it's not so much the actual aim of the cross, but it's, the, uh, it's where he leaves his cue ball after the cross that I admire so much. He, he crosses balls really well because he knows what to do. He knows what to do with the rock, you know, with the cue ball. It's like uh, something that takes so, so many years to get good at.
Mr. Cracky, 1970, was up. Wayne's probably going to have to lose this game. Playing Damien, you know, it's uh, and and he's had he's had already one match on this table. Charles Bell says uh, all prayers for Robert LeBlanc and his sister Sydney, who lost her cat, and she's very sad and had a and a very good friend of of Charles's. Uh, really sorry to hear that. Hope uh, hope she's uh, holding up okay. It's very sad to hear, and. Uh, our prayers are out for her. And uh, also want to say hi to Robert, who I haven't seen in several years since 2016. Uh, since we did the uh, Boosty Chohan match together. This is a race to two. I'm just drinking my third cup of coffee. <laughs> At almost five o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, I like I like Damien from here. You know what I'm saying? But you'd be amazed what uh, Wayne Pollen is capable of. Oh man! Cutting the six ball, dangerous shot. A, he's just a good shot maker. Like finesse shots like that are his specialty. Six four. Sorry, guys. Marcus O says that was a sick shot. I know. The guy's sick. No, he's not sick. He's alive and well. But he plays pretty sick. <laughs> why, why do they say that? Why, why sick? How did sick become the word for good and amazing? <laughs> wow, I don't know what just happened there. I 
bet you Damien's sick right now. Holy moly. Shout out to Trevor M, who is back after a long week of three cushion billiards with us on POV Pool. Welcome back. And uh, I'm not sure if you heard us, but uh, thank you for your support last week for your donation to POV Pool. We really appreciate it. Thanks for the extra gas money. We really needed it. Wow, it's getting noisy in here. Woo! Starting to sound like a pool hall. On a Saturday. I mean, I'm telling you, I, I probably would have side bet on uh, on Damien. Wait a minute, what's the bloody score? It's six six. I would have bet on Damien in this match, in this game. Just in the game, not necessarily the match. Damien, here we go. Remember what I said, guys. I like the way he crosses balls. goodness Jeffrey K says Wayne we are pulling for you <laughs> I like it I like it nice touch oh we ran out of gas Ran out of gas, buddy. He hit that, he hit that so pure. He hit that perfect. He hit it perfect. What do they say? Hit it too good. Well, he didn't want to leave. See, here's what he didn't want to leave is that cut on the 14 ball. If, it, if he'd have hit it any harder, cue ball would have been in a makeable position for Damien, so... Nice shot. I'm telling you, the way I'm, the way Damien crosses these balls is just, uh, it's 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 definitely a sight to see. I'm learning something today watching him cross these balls.
I think Wayne's looking at this two rail bank, but uh, he's not going to look for long. Oh, that was a little bit careless. This is a uh, tester right here, tester. Hey, how you doing? Good.
All righty, folks. Um, it's a Hill Hill match. Another Hill Hill match brought to you <laughs> by West State Billiards. Hi, I'm Donnie Wessels with West State Billiards. Do you know we have been servicing the West Coast for over 70 years? We have just about everything you need for your game room. Arcades, poker tables, pool tables, shuffle boards, spectator chairs, air hockey, foosball, and have you seen the new Gold Crown 6 from Brunswick? Call us at 1-800-266-8914. WestStateBilliards.com What a match we got here. <laughs> Want to remind you guys that for the remainder of 2019, if you come into West State Billiards in Fullerton, California, or even shopping online at WestStateBilliards.com, you can receive 16% off almost everything in their inventory with the exception of diamond products, all you have to do is mention POV pool. POV pool is the coupon code for 16% off at westatebilliards.com. POV pool. Want to thank West State Billiards for working with POV pool over the years. Without West State Billiards, we wouldn't have been able to have um, many of the great events that we've had over the over the years, like the West Coast Swing events. Um, and also, they support the juniors, big supporters of pool and the pool industry. largest distributor of Simona's cloth in the United States. Everything you need for your game room. Are we done here? Yes. <laughs> it's a good match here, you know, really good match. 
Strange as it may seem, just like Damien's, just like Damien's uh, last match, these players have been breaking, have been winning on each other's break. They have not been winning on their own break. That's a Wayne special. The speed, the purity of hit. That's a Wayne Pullen special right there. Damien's break. Well, he tried to break those balls out uh, to his advantage. I think he might be able to squeeze this in the corner without scratching, but is it worth going for? No, he's just going to play it. Play it smart. Smart, smart play. Very smart play. Yeah. So it's 4 0 now. Wayne Pullen in the lead in this third game. sure Damien was hoping for better coverage by the one ball so it won't bother Wayne very much to just bump that ball double kissed it to his side of the table too Uh, that was kind of a Hail Mary, but uh, he hit it so hard that uh, he almost gave Wayne position to, to run out. Barely got away with it. I think Wayne, I think Damien can hit the nine, safely hit the nine or the 15. And uh, I think he'll use the nine. I'm wrong. He's going to use the 15 and just draw back underneath that 12, I think.
problem is it's not the most productive shot. I don't think it, you know, I don't think it does a whole lot. Using the nine instead. I like the nine. Yeah, I like, I like that shot. That shot's way better. Now, you're either gonna make Wayne go for this, <laughs> which is dangerous in and of itself, or, uh, you know, he's either gonna go for it, or he's gonna do something completely different here. What, what, what's he got? What would one pocket Wayne do? I think he's trying to see if his if he left the cue ball right there, would uh, would Damien be able to do anything any damage from there? So I don't think the eleven pass is the one. Doesn't appear to. So, you know, is this seven ball worth banking? Just as long as he can get good cue ball. He doesn't want to leave him a shot on the one. Forget about it. Forget about it. Just forget everything I said right there. Oh, man. I told you, you let him play a bank, and that's scary in enough as of itself. He just stole the game. Wow. Wayne Pullen, I told you guys. Don't let the senior discount at Sizzler fool you. Wayne Pullen. <laughs> Wayne Pullen knows a couple things. That was a hell of a shot there, Wayne. Did you get a highlight shot? Yeah, we got a highlight shot. We got a highlight shot. <sighs> nice out there, Wayne. Nice out. And thank you to uh, Damien Alshon, who is now on the one-loss side. But, uh, wow, what an out, man. Tell you what, man. There's a reason why he gives Alejandro 15-4. to four. All right, guys, we're going to be right back. We're going to have something coming up. We had 21 players today, so uh, I'm going to find out. It was a risky shot, but it paid off. It sure did. But it was a risky shot, but it paid off. Your cue ball wasn't exactly safe, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think I think yeah. I think you, I don't know. Like it's it, it landed right in the middle of the table, you know. Yeah. But you know, I thought I thought you were just gonna I thought you were just gonna bunt it and bring the cue ball behind the eleven. Oh, the eleven does go because from my view, I didn't know if it went. Yeah. Doesn't the yeah, 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 which just puts you under pressure you don't need. Yeah, wow. So whatever, whatever. It it clo he closed the game like <laughs> this guy over here is good. Got a million reasons. Shoot the ball. I want to see. I want to see you shoot the ball. I want to see him roll that ball, like, just past the one and hang it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, watch, watch what he does here. See if he can do this. A slow roll, just to just to let it hang in the pot. Oh, he's gonna miss it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, too much pressure. Too much pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, we got Sydney coming up next. I think. Uh, yeah, that was a hell of a shot. Thanks to Wayne Pullen. This is a good, good shot. All right, coming up, Sydney. Are you up now? Are you up now here? Who's this? J Jared. Okay. Jared, what's his last name? Sterling. All right, Jared Sterling and Sydney. Coming up next.